I'm back. So if you're just joining, good morning. Um, let me know if the sound is any better. Let me know as soon as you can, hopefully. Hopefully it's just her piece of junk phone. We'll see. We will see, hopefully it's better for you guys. Okay, good. She has an iPhone, like an old, it's an, a seven or eight. It's not a, it's just my old phone that she uses on Wi-Fi and um, clearly it's not working well. Okay, good. All right, well, I don't seem to get comments good on this phone, so I'm gonna try on this one. And I gotta mute myself. I don't wanna listen to self talk. So let's try the comments on the computer again. All right. Let's try this. You're not going crazy, Sarah. Somebody said it sounded like somebody was taking a shower in my kitchen. <laughs> Who's, who are we joking here? We don't take showers on Monday. <laughs> All right. So that would be taking this stuff just a, a wee bit too far by me doing it from the shower, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be just a bit too much. All right. So good. I'm glad that's better. So I'm going to make, uh, so fair warning, I'm on my cell phone and I'm on call. So if my phone rings, I have to hang up and come back. I got an itch on my back. It's driving me crazy. All right, so this morning, I'm going to be making a custard shake that somebody posted yesterday in my um, private group. It was in, in my Joyful Life with KJ unofficial coaching community. If you're not part of that, go check that out. Um, it's, a pri it's a private group where we do some different it's support group, basically. Um, so go check that out but over there somebody posted do people actually put scrambled eggs in a shake and I was like what and I read the recipe and I'm like that shake has scrambled eggs in it I clearly have to make that obviously that is gonna be something that I have to make it the recipe was actually written just for me so my stupid comments all right yeah eggs in a shake Listen, I'll try eggs anyway, Tracy. I'll try them. I may not love them, but I will try them. So the other thing is, um, we've been talking, I said before, before I had to go, um, we've been talking about um, meal planning and meal prepping in my coaching group. And I did not do very well. I encouraged everyone to try to meal prep meal plan last week, um, still meal plan this week, but meal prep this week. And I failed to do the challenge myself because I was out all day yesterday. So I'm gonna try today to do just a soup meal prep. I wrote up a menu plan for myself for this week that was as basic as can be. I've got my breakfast laid out for this week, but then I have taco soup for three days, Thursday I'll just have um, grilled turkey. I make a grilled turkey wrap that I like and I'll have it with some fruit. And um, it's just turkey and a little bit of uh, laughing cow grilled like a grilled cheese. And then I'll have that with some fruit for an E. And then Friday I'll have grilled cheese and tomato soup. Um, yeah, it probably was Meredith. Although I made one with a boiled egg once that was really good. And I don't remember if that was from Trim Healthy Future. I had a, there was some recipe I made, pumpkin recipe, with a boiled egg in it that was delicious. I was shocked at how good it was. My back itches so bad. I have a burn on my back, you guys, and I'm, it's, it's driving me crazy. I'm going to have to go get my back scratcher. Um, and then for my snacks, I'm going to have, I still have some truffles left. I have uh, Shannon Fox's Spoonable Candy. I'm going to have some of that. Uh, one day I'll have a fat stripping frappa, and then I've got... One day I'll have melon and cottage cheese, and then I'm gonna make some pineapple whip one day out of frozen pineapple. And then for dinner this week, I've got grilled pork and green beans, just totally basic. Um, two, then Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm gonna be going out to dinner with a group. And then on Thursday, 
I'm gonna have burgers with salad and Friday sweetie on steroids. So I have like a basic meal plan written. I don't have, I went with stuff that I knew I had in the house so I didn't have to go out and get any special ingredients for this. I, it's just basic so that I have an idea through the week of what I'm gonna eat. Then that way I don't have to stop and go, oh, I don't know what to have for breakfast this morning. I don't know what to have for lunch. I've got it written out even if it's basic. And I'll flip these days around like, just because it says fat stripping crap on Wednesday, I might have that today. I don't, I don't know. I don't like to commit to anything. So, anywho, that's what I did. I have just this little template that I use in my coaching groups um, that I can fill out in Google Sheets or I can print out and just write down, you know. But I print, I do it on Google Sheets, Google and. Jolene, you made it! How early is it wherever you are? It's 6.30 here. No, holy Moses, it's 7.09. I'm late this morning. That's okay because my class doesn't start till 9.30, so I have plenty of free time. But, so for lunch today and tomorrow and the next day, I'm going to have some taco soup. So I'm just going to make a super simple... I don't even, I'm kind of winging it for the most part. Yeah, I think you're right, Faith. It was that, it was that spoiled flax. I still haven't found more flax. I've got to go to the natural store. I can't get it, I can't get it at the store here. I screenshotted my custard shake. I want to find that. So I boiled... Sometimes I have the worst time finding anything on my Apple computer. I'm still not quite used to it. Um, I boiled, nope, I didn't. I scrambled a couple of eggs this morning um, because why can't I find that screenshot? Oh my word, I'm so, so bad at Apple computer. I'm so bad, I'm trying so hard. Um, it's got scrambled eggs and it said to let them come to room temperature. So I did. I'm going to have to look it up on this phone. I, sc I screenshotted it and airdropped it to my Apple and now I can't, I can't find it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, I'll have to find it when I'm, I'm not doing very good. Prep nightly for the next day. Hey, if it works, Tracy, do it. Just do it. Whatever works for you to stay on plan. For me, I need to have some kind of idea what I'm going to be eating during the week because if I don't, I'm probably going to set myself up for failure. So I like to have just a vague idea so that I know I have the ingredients for what I want. I still will throw stuff in too. Um, and there are many times where I just don't know what I'm gonna make and then I just swing it. But, you know, I like to have some sort of an idea, especially when I'm in a class. Like I'm in a class this week that starts at 9 a.m. our time and goes until 5 p.m. our time. And we get short, like 10 minute break and then a half an hour or an hour lunch. So I don't, I wanna be prepared because I don't wanna be like, messing around looking for a snack i need to know exactly what i'm having because i gotta get <laughs> i <laughs> knock myself out i gotta know exactly what i'm having because i need to get back on the class right away so i don't i don't want to leave it up to chance so that's why i did this this week so i don't even know i know i thought i'm gonna make this in my instant pot but it's not gonna fit this instant pot is very tiny um and I had in my head it would hold three servings, but it won't. It won't. So I'm going to need to make it in a pot, which is okay because I have a clean one right here. Yes, I'll wash that. Don't worry. So I'm going to make... I'm not going to chop up my chicken. I'm making this the most basic possible way that I can do it. Basic, basic. I'm kind of winging this soup. I'm not following much of a recipe. I've got um, the trim train taco soup up. Yes, thank you, Lisa. 
I always forget my apron. Thank you for reminding me because I'm just so forgetful. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Um, Sarah, I feel your pain, girl. I'm the same way. It's the same way here. It's the same way here. So like last night we had steak and mac salad, but I sauteed some green beans too. They didn't eat the green beans, but I did. Mine was steak and green beans. I hear you. I have to do that same thing. Like this soup will be only for me. I'm the only one that's going to eat this soup. And I'm just, that's why I try to make things that I can just grab. But it is, I find ways around it. There are a few things that they'll eat, very few. Like that taco bake that I make, they'll eat that. That's about it. But I just try to take whatever protein they're eating and I put it on a salad or put it with a salad or put it with, I eat green beans like they're coming out. I'm surprised they're not coming out my ears as much as I eat them. I eat green beans every day. I love them. Um, but no, I get you there. I feel you, girl. I feel you. Fix that, frozen cauliflower. All right. I'm going to, so I said I have the trim train taco soup recipe up, but I'm really not going to follow it that much. I'm just using it for seasoning amounts. That, yeah, you're what, very lucky, Tracy. I think my friend Tiffany ha is the same way. Her husband's doing this with her, and she's very fortunate. So, I don't know. I don't remember what trim train taco soup says, but I'm sticking a bunch of veggies. So I threw a bunch of chicken tenders in my pot, frozen and whole. I'm not cutting them up. Dump in the last remaining of a seasoning blend bag in there. Don't even know how much it is. I'm just showing you how I wing it. I got the remains of a bag of okra. I need to add that to my grocery list. <clears throat> okra and then I'm going to put some hot water in there to zing it up and I'm also going to throw some gelatin in there. Where's my gelatin? It's over here. This would be better, this would be good in the instant pot but because I don't have, a, the one I have is small and I use it for like just cooking chicken or eggs. It won't cook a big pot of soup, which is fine because I I can throw it on the stove just as easy. I'm just in the other room. It can simmer all day. But so yeah, some couple tablespoons of gelatin on top of those veggies. The gelatin's got lots of good healing power. Plus it's full of protein. And then I'm going to pour some hot water in there and I'm going to blend it up. <laughs> I was in Walmart yesterday too, which is the only, there in the commissary is the only place I can get um, okra. And you think I would have gotten it? No. Why would I? Why would I get everything I needed in one stop? That wouldn't be logical at all. All right, I'm going to blend this up. I turn this so I'm not off screen. Not that it matters that much, but I might need more water. I don't know. We'll see. No. That Brenda, she is a rock star. All right. And then I'm just going to pour in a box of broth. fibers on there. Sarah, your husband sounds exactly like my husband. Same thing. Same thing. Meat potatoes. Meat potatoes. Meat potatoes. That's all he wants. Alright, I got my green 
oak grass slurry. That's what I'm calling it. Now I don't have no chunks of cauliflower, or which I don't love. No chunks of okra. What else did I put in there for vegetables? Did I put any other vegetables? No. Okra, what did I put in there? Cauliflower, okra, and what? Did I put something else in? Brought, I don't know, I don't know. Water, gelatin, I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna wash this out because I'm gonna have my shake in it and I don't want my gelatin all stuck to it. clean for my breakfast. like a witch's cauldron. The only thing in my blender was gelatin, broth, the okra, and the cauliflower. And that gives it a nice creamy base even though it's a total fuel full. Now I'm gonna put in a bunch of salt, like that much. This is how I cook y'all. And then I, I don't even look at the recipe. I'm just looking at the ingredients in the list. So like there's onion powder. I'm not looking at the amount. I just don't. This is just how I roll. I'm gonna put that much onion powder. This is when food comes out the best, y'all. That looks like a lot, but I'm putting that much garlic. mineral salt got that doesn't have cumin in it oh yeah it does I thought so I was gonna say cumin bunch of that <laughs> Amy it's a great spoon I'm gonna put a whole bunch of cayenne in there that's probably not enough that's probably not let's double that a whole crap ton of cayenne what else? That's it for seasonings. I bet it's gonna need more salt though, but I can add that at the end. I'd rather add it at the end than be too salty now. Can of Rotel. And, um, what else did I have in my head I was gonna put in there? Hot sauce, hot sauce, and liquid smoke. So, where are you at, hot sauce? Over here, I'm a little hot sauce holder. And I'll put a little splash of liquid smoke, some hot sauce. And that's it, that's it. I'm not putting the coconut oil in here. It says coconut oil in the recipe, but I want, it is a fuel pull. Maybe I'll put a little bit. Maybe I'll put a little coconut oil. Where is it? It's out here on the counter. It's exactly true. Some people will say, Faith, some people will say, can you write up a recipe for that? Can you give me a recipe? I'm like, no, nope, can't. You have to watch the video and wing it, because I don't know. Um, it isn't any, Josie. This is a fuel pull. This is a fuel pull. I wanted a fuel pull soup because I have a bunch of pineapple and cantaloupe in my fridge that I want to eat up. So... That's it. I got a fuel pull soup, and now if I want an S, I'll just add some cheese and sour cream to it. If I want an E, 
or if I want to keep it a fuel pole, I'll just put some Greek yogurt on top or not at all, just eat it the way it is. And if I want an S, I mean an E, I'll add, I'll have a bowl soup with a bunch of fruit. Easy peasy, that doesn't get any easier. And if you had an instant pot, it would be even easier. I'm gonna put it on low and I'm just gonna let it go for like an hour probably. I'm just gonna let it simmer real low and then I'll shred up that chicken. The chicken's just in whole pieces. I'll just shred it up. I don't think it doesn't get no easier than that, girl. All right, let me get my blender cleaned up here. Now this recipe is, I gotta look it up, is on the Pinterest. Did I, I didn't link it, did I? I'm gonna have to go back. Where are you going, Kathy? Renting a car? Where are you going? Going on a adventure. Where's my... Oh, you because you totaled your car. That's right. God, I'm glad you're okay. I saw that last night. Holy cow. Did it, is it totaled, do you think? Stinking deer. Was the deer, um, was the deer, kid? did you get the deer meat? I know that's awful. We do that up here. If a deer gets killed, if it's still salvageable, people will take the deer meat. So at least the poor thing, you know, oh, I've never hit a deer. I can't believe it. Why did I say that out loud? I have near missed a deer many times in the same spot. There's this one deer that likes to dodge out of the woods in front of me. I think it's the same deer every time too. All right, this custard shake is from Wonderfully Made and Dearly Loved. I meant to link the recipe and I didn't. Yeah, it did look totaled to me, too, Faith. I totaled my car once. Somebody hit me. I was stopped at a red light, and a teenage boy hit me going about 45 miles an hour. Never touched the brakes. He was he was um, texting. I got out of the car. Of course, Marin was in the back. She was like two and a half screaming bloody murder. She was screaming. OnStar comes on and says, this is OnStar, do we need to send help? And then they waited a second, they go, we're sending help, because this, there was just blood curdling scream coming out of her, because she wasn't really hurt, but it, <laughs> she, she was scared, because it was like an explosion, just a, you know, it was such a, it was terrifying. But I got out of the car and walked around the back, and that kid gets out of his Jeep, and he goes, I was texting, I was texting, and I'm like, <laughs> okay. Listen, child, I know you hit me, but you don't just jump out of the car and admit fault, dude. <laughs> he did. He even said to the call, I was texting when I hit her. Like, he was, he was so upset with himself. Oh, all right. So, custard shake. Oh, you like my nails, Lisa. You like them. I got my nails. Okay, so let me show you something really cool. Okay, I got my nails done. See how they're like pinkish, but they're kind of orange in spots, like they're weird colors. This hand's kind of orange. See how it's like, I almost slipped you off, I didn't mean to. See how it's like different colors? Watch this. This is cool. I find this very cool. I'll show you. Wash my hands in cold water. Cold water, I get this beautiful pink color. Isn't it pretty? But then I'll turn on the warm water and show you what happens. Icy. Aren't those cool? <laughs> they start already, my hands are cooling off and they're starting to turn pink again. My hands are cold. 
So as they, as soon as they start to cool off, they'll start to turn pink again. Isn't that neat? Anywho, all right, this shake has two scrambled eggs. It says to put, one, two, three, four, five. What does it say? What did I see? Put five ingredients. Where's the, oh, scramble the eggs and allow to cool. Add the first five ingredients to the blender. Okay. I got two badly scrambled eggs. They don't have to be pretty when they're in a shake. I haven't had my nail done in a nails done in a long time because of the Rona. And I decided yesterday. No, I don't, Sherry. I decided yesterday it was time to go get them done. I go through spurts. I'll have them done for like six months, if that long, and then I'll take a year off, and then I'll go back and do it again. I like to have them in the summer. Oh, no, I don't garden. What gave it away? I almost bought a tomato plant for my deck, and then I decided not to because I'd kill it. I decided to leave it for somebody else who would actually raise them to be, yeah. All right, two scrambled eggs in my blender. Yeah, they are Tracy, they are. They're not working on my computer, but they're working on my phone, so. Does what feel yucky, these? No, not at all, these feel beautiful. And it, the guy that was doing my nails, <laughs> He had like a big dishcloth on under his mask and then a mask. And everybody that came into the salon, he was like, you have to put on a mask. And he had like individually wrapped, packaged, like sealed masks and he'd give them to people. Well, this woman and her daughter came in and said, we'd like a manicure or we have a one o'clock appointment or something like that. We have a one o'clock appointment for a manicure. And, um, he said, okay, I'll be with you in like 10 minutes. Here's masks. Please put the masks on. And she goes, oh, but I'm vaccinated. And he said, it's okay. It doesn't matter. I need you. If you're in my salon, I want you to wear a mask. So they go, okay. And then she says, we, for, we ordered drinks down at Dunkin' and totally forgot to pick them up. We'll be right back. So they left. And the guy says, he says, they're not coming back. They just took my masks and they're leaving. They're, they just don't want to wear a mask. And I'm telling you, if you're coming into my salon, I don't care if you've been vaccinated or not. You're wearing a mask because I'm going to protect my staff. And I don't get like he's ranting on and on and on about how people can claim they're vaccinated. But what if they're not? And they're lying to him. He says, you're not going to bring the Rona into my salon and, and make my my client's sick you're gonna wear a mask and I mean he is going on and on and on and on and on and then all of a sudden the two ladies walk back with their drinks from Duncan and I said hey here they come to get their drinks and he goes oh my bad <laughs> and that was it he moved on <laughs> it was so funny my bad <laughs> after he was just like ranting them out to everyone in the salon like everyone was here in his like rant while he's doing my nails he's got that drill I'm thinking Dude, pay attention to my cuticle because you're going to rip my nail off. He's like, Arr! oh, my bad, he says. <laughs> he got up to walk away and he's like, oh, well. he felt so stupid. I know. They, when they came back and came in the salon, they had their mask and their straw stuck up underneath their mask. And they're sucking away, having their pedicure <laughs> under their mask. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. So this shake, this custard shake calls for a half a cup of almond milk, but I opened my almond milk this morning. It's about a week and a half old and it stinks. So I, I should have checked last night, um, that I need more almond milk and I don't have it. So instead of almond milk calls for a half a cup, I am going to do this instead. That's not a half a cup, KJ, get a half a cup, do it right. I'm just gonna put a little light cream, just a splash, a little bit, cause my almond milk's not very thick. So a little splash of cream and the rest water. You can't tell that ain't milk, like it ain't gonna change the taste at all, it's just like milk. That's what I do. All right, a half a teaspoon of glukey, holy, 
Hannah, that is a lot of glucky. I hope that's not a typo. That's a lot of glucky. A dash of mineral salt. We don't have to wear them here, Sarah. We don't have to now. It, the, the guidelines are if you're vaccinated, you don't have to. If you are not vaccinated, you should, but they're not required. So, which really surprises me here in Maine. However, we continue to wear them, even though I know you're all going to be shocked by this statement, even though I've been vaccinated. Shockingly. I, I swore I would never, ever, 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 ever do it. But I did. When Rob died, the first thing I did was go get a vaccine. So, mine is fully effective tomorrow. But I still wear a mask in certain places. Um, I'll, and I probably always will. Like I didn't at church, but there's only 15 of us. It's just small. Um, Steve and Tina. Steve is doing well. Tina's still in the hospital. I haven't heard. Um, I heard yesterday she was hopefully coming home in a day or two. So, I don't know, Sarah, we're gonna find out. Um, somebody asked me where I got this container. I got it at TJ Maxx, do not get one. It's terrible and horrible. It comes off every time I tip it over. It comes off. Sherry, <laughs> that's what I need. Uh, so the thing with the vaccine, I'm not pro or anti-vaccine at all. Um, I did not want to be forced to get a vaccine. I did not want to be told I have no choice in the matter. That is where my concern was coming in. And ooh, I was very worried about that with my employer, although they may never do that. I just got nervous. First five ingredients. But then she doesn't say when to end, end the rest. I'm just gonna go with a, a scoop of protein powder. That seems like a lot of protein. Considering this has two eggs in it. I don't feel. I just, I feel like people should have a choice in the matter. I don't feel like it should be forced on anyone. There was a law passed here in Maine last year that school-aged children have no choice but to get vaccinated if they want to go to school, and I totally disagree with that. I don't feel it should be anybody's choice but my own. It's whether I'm going to vaccinate or not, not to be political, but it's not your business what I decide to do. I don't want to be told I have no choice, and if, if the only options had been Moderna or Pfizer, I'll say it flat out, and I don't care what anybody thinks, I wouldn't have gotten it. No matter what, under any circumstances, I would not have gotten it. I got the Janssen, so that's, that's my two cents. All right, there's the shake, scrambled eggs and all. I'm going to zing this up. It says... Add the ingredients and blend. And then it says I'm going to add the coconut oil while the blender is running. So, all right. That is barely enough liquid. Where's my coconut oil? Did I put it back? Okay. That's right. I'm making a custard shake and a statement. This does not say anything about nutmeg. It's a vanilla custard, and you're right. Why isn't there any nutmeg or cinnamon? It's a vanilla custard. There will be ice, just not yet, Dana. Why is there no cinnamon or nutmeg? And I need some spinach. What am I doing? Oh my god, it's still chunky. Oh, it smells like... Oh, I'm so scared. It smells like those sweet eggs I made that time. Oh, it smells horrible, you guys. 
Uh, I just dropped that in my coconut oil. I'm gonna need a little extra liquid because I'm putting spinach in there. Oh my gosh, it smells horrible. Yes, I'm not following the recipe at this point. Whatever. What am I doing? I'm looking for a nutmeg and cinnamon. Nutmeg. Yeah. I, I'm not even. Uh, I hope that was nutmeg. Yeah, it was. It's good, Dana. You've made it. All right. I'll trust the process, except I'm adding cinnamon and nutmeg. So when I'm ignoring the process a little bit. I'm, I'm trusting and ignoring at the same time. I did put vanilla in. Yep. All right. Let's blend it up again. Oh. There's a fine line between melted and boiling over and exploding. All right, so then it says to pour this in, drizzle it in while it's blending to emulsify it, and then add the ice. So, all right. Cup and a half of ice. So let me get a cup. I want. I'm, I'll measure it. Right. I'll be back. Let me get my ice. nothing but chocolate and peanut butter this week. There's so many awesome options for chocolate and peanut butter. Do it, girl. When I made one using raw egg or egg whites, it was amazing. Okay. There's um, hoping.
All right, people. So usually they say to use garnish amounts of the fat-free Ready Whip. They did not have the fat-free Ready Whip in the store yesterday, so I bought this and I looked up the ingredients in the fat-free and actually this had less sugar than the fat-free Ready Whip. This is non-dairy coconut milk, but it's got a little bit of fat where the fat-free didn't. But Kind of weird looking. Tastes like coconut. I didn't think it was gonna taste like coconut. What? Why is all the coconut stuff gonna taste like coconut? All right. Oh, I need a sprinkle of nutmeg on top just to make it look pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm really just putting off drinking it. That's what it is. I'm just putting it off. Cheers. It tastes just like a custard, which I don't know that I love. Did I put sweetener in it? Well, I like it. The more I, the more I taste it, the more it tastes good. If you like custard, you'll like this. You didn't see it. What? Yeah, I did. I put, I put four half teaspoons of this. I know I did. I did. You are going to have to try it, Jolene. Yep, I did put sweetener in it. So... If you like custard, which I've never been a huge fan of, however, I do like grape nut custard at the Dice Arts, which is a local truck stop. <laughs> and the governor's, the governor's restaurant. I do like custard. But like plain vanilla, like a bowl of custard, I don't know that I would like. But grape nut custard I do. This tastes like the custard. It's good. The more I drink it, the better it gets. It's very thick. It's very creamy. Rice pudding. People eat that? I thought that was just like in nursing homes in those little tubs. Kimberly, I think you should. Do you like custard? Because I think you'll like it. The more I drink it, the better it gets. It does not taste eggy like I thought it would, with scrambled eggs. It's actually pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty surprised by it. What do you think, Bassie? Do you think it's good? Do you wanna taste it? Come on up here, you can have a little taste. Come here, come here, no, all the way. You wanna taste, he's like that. I'm coming up here. attached and he won't even lick my finger I ain't got nothing else for you bub that's all I got you want a piece of spinach here poor dog waiting for a treat and I won't even get, come up here how about this come here you want that well he ate it <laughs> that was funny he's like <laughs> It's very thick. Like, I haven't had a straight custard 
like just plain vanilla custard. So I wouldn't know how thick it is. I know how thick a custard is, like a grape nut custard, but that's thick because it's full of grape nuts. So I don't know, Sarah, if it's the same consistency. It, I, I don't, I think it's thinner. It's very thick and creamy, but custard is spoonable, right? It's not drinkable typically think I ain't no custard pro I don't know but all right I don't know I could try to make a rice pudding I got the hiccups it would have to be a crossover wouldn't it because you'd need eggs and rice I could make it with cauliflower <laughs> but you'd need rice and oh I love creme brulee I love, that's custard? Creme brulee? What? I love creme brulee. You've never heard of grape nut custard, Kim. It's delicious. Candace, yes. Yes, with miracle rice. Um, Crystal, I have had her hot chocolate custard and that is very good. It's very good. <laughs> Dawn, go give your dog a, a cookie. Go give him a treat. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. I got to go get myself ready for class. I got to get my learning on this week. So, all right. That's all I got for you, my loves. I hope you have a blessed day. It's Monday. So, today you're going to stay on plan because it's Monday. Monday, you guys. You have absolutely zero reason to go off plan on a Monday. There's a million options on a Monday besides going off plan. So stay on plan. Holler if you need somebody to talk you off the ledge. And go subscribe to my YouTube and Instagram or Rumble or one or all three or whatever. Smash that like button. That's what all the YouTubers say. <laughs> <laughs> share the video whatever you gotta do i appreciate it all i love you all i hope you have a blessed day and i will see you all back here bright and early tomorrow morning i hope to make pancakes tomorrow that's my plan unless i change my mind so don't count on it <laughs> love you all have a great day